In this screencast, I'm going to um, create a kind of uh, funky looking text effect. And what we'll do first is start with the text tool. Click here and type a word. Anything is good. We'll hit F1 to select it and enlarge that. Funkalicious. Okay. And now I want to change the font. So I'll bring up the font dialog and what I'm going to do is actually change the font first to this one it's called I believe Bake Muck Headline uh, I probably butchered that pronunciation but anyways uh, I selected it here it's a nice chunky text um, hit apply close now I've got that thicker text I can enlarge it here uh, so you can see it a bit better and now what I'm going to do is bring up the fill and stroke dialog box here and I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to turn off the fill and the stroke I'm going to change to black and pick a decent thickness here probably four is good and there I have my text. Now what I'm going to do is select that text and I'm going to create a duplicate by hitting control D now there's two of them here. I'm going to just click once and select one, the upper one, and I'm going to convert it to a path. So what I'll do is go path, object to path. Now if I double click that, I can tell it's a path because it shows all the nodes. So when it's showing all the nodes like this, I'm going to, to um, go up to the menu and use path, dynamic offset. What that does is leave one node here. I'm going to grab that node holding the control key and I'm going to drag it vertically up just a bit and you can see it once I let go of the mouse button it creates this outline around that text okay and the object that it's created um, isn't a path if I double click it it doesn't give me the nodes and what I want to do is create another offset what I have to do then is select that object hit control D to duplicate it and now the duplicate is selected I'll click path object to path again can double click it and see the nodes again and again path dynamic offset and I'm going to just offset this one again like that okay you see a little bit of funny stuff going on here uh, at the O we can fix that later um, what I'm going to do now is hit F1 to get the selection tool or click the selection tool and I'm going to start filling in colors so I will select the innermost text and bring over the fill and stroke dialog box and on the fill I'm going to change it to uh, a glorious uh, dark purple okay next I'm going to select the, the next outline out again bring in the fill and stroke dialog box change it to a solid you'll see it covers over the original because it's above it we'll send it behind in a second we'll just pick another color here um, maybe a uh, kind of sickly greenish blue and that's probably good and then I'm gonna select actually make sure it's selected I'm gonna hit page down and you'll see we've sent it behind the purple text now we'll select the outer one again I'm gonna change the fill to bright orange and once it's selected, page down twice to send it to the back. So there I have my Funkalicious text. Now you can see some of those artifacts are gone. Um, you still see a couple of them um, in here. If you want to get rid of those, you can. Uh, what you can do is uh, usually select the one that's a problem. Holding control, I've dragged it uh, above the rest and I can double click or sorry select it turn it into a path double click it and you'll see those nodes in there are creating those openings what I can do is just ah, sorry let's try
try this again. Let's make that a path. Double click it. And we'll window those nodes and hit delete. And you'll see it fills in solid. Hit F1 to select it. And I'm going to move it holding the control key. Move it back down. Okay. So there I've got my text. One other thing I might uh, do here to kind of spruce it up a bit is select that purple object. I'm going to create a duplicate. Move the duplicate up. And now using this um, curve tool, I'm going to draw kind of a curve through this and then create a closed polygon. Hit F1 to select that polygon. Hold Shift and select the text as well. So we've got them both selected. Do path, sorry, intersection. So I'm left with just that chopped bit. And now what I'll do is I will set the fill to white, change to stroke. Set the stroke to white so you can't see it anymore. And I'm going to drag that object down with the control key down onto my purple text and just lower the opacity a little bit. And that kind of gives it a glossy kind of look. And there we have our Funkalicious text. Uh, you can do other things. You, you know, the good thing about Inkscape is you can, um, sorry, you can uh, change things later. So you could always click the orange layer um, and change it to something else uh, if you had the fill set, of course. You can change it to whatever colors uh, you want. Uh, you can change the stroke of each object uh, to whatever you want and make the changes that way. So that's it. Uh, not terribly useful, but something you see once in a while might be fun if you're trying to do a logo or uh, spruce up your website. Uh, hopefully uh, you, um, you got something out of it. Thanks for watching.